Yo, Hannah. Yo, Hannah. Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you my newest personal journal. I've just got this finished. I started it such a long time ago. I have a video on my channel of how to do this window sort of cover. So with moving and everything, it's all been a bit delayed, but I finally got it finished. And so this is how it turned out looking. So I've kept the book pretty simple. It's mostly just got patterned papers that I personally like found inside. I didn't really do much um, embellishing or adding interactive stuff or anything like that. It's just paper. And on the front, this is a image from a children's book. And then I painted the cover and then I ended up adding these little butterfly decals around the frame. And then on the spine, I decided to add more of the children's book paper on the side of the spine so that it kind of wraps around the book. And so because I did that with the, the children's book paper, I decided to do a hidden binding. So instead of poking holes and stitching through this image, I just stitched my signatures onto a separate piece of fabric. I actually used a old vintage linen. So I stitched the signatures onto that and then I glued that inside the cover. So I really like how that turned out and then that's the back. And then I'll show you the charms and the beads that I added. So there's like a little watering can charm there. There's a key. There's some different buttons and beads on here. Um, there's also a little spade charm. So that's really cute. And so that's the dangles. And now I'll just give you a look inside the pattern papers that I decided to include in here. So on the inside of the book, I lined it with this graphic 45 paper. So that's in the front and the back. I haven't added anything else to it yet. And then inside I used mostly scrapbook papers, but I also used some of my own printed papers. I also used some vintage papers, some ledger papers and stuff like that. So I'm going to flick through really quickly because there's nothing very exciting in here. It's just the assortment of papers. This is crepe paper. This is also crepe paper, Maggie Holmes, Sunny Days. So I'm just going to flick through. This is children's book paper. This is one of my papers that I, that I have as a printable in my shop. Some vintage workbook paper some ledger paper this is another one of my papers and I just folded it in half before I bound it in so I can use this as a pocket I can close this up and use it as a pocket um, so there's that and this is some really beautiful floral paper it's double-sided so same signature has the same papers this is another one of my papers from the Enchanted Paper Pack. And then this is some vintage ledger paper. This is another one of those papers that I folded in half. So that's open, it can be a pocket. And this book, as I said, it just has papers that I quite like. Um, but it kind of also has, I guess it has a really loose sort of foresty uh, fairy tale theme because I've included papers from my papers that I created and also from Ma Magical Forest, I think it's called, from Crepe Paper. So it's got lots of pretty florals, some double-sided paper and lots of single-sided paper. This is another one of my papers, some more vintage paper. This is another one of mine and then this one's from Sunny Days. I absolutely love this paper with the chickens. So that's the same on both sides, which I think is really cool. Then this is some vintage ledger paper that's got some writing on it and that just folds out like that. So usually when I make my own personal journals, I try not to put too many papers uh, because when I do use it, it gets really, really bulky. But as always, I couldn't sort of limit myself too much and so it ended up with quite a lot of paper in here. So I'll just have to see how I go as far as it getting bulky. This is another one of my papers. And there's more children's book paper. 
some more ledger paper here as a fold out. And as you can see, as you can see, I've kept it really, really simple. I haven't really added anything else. I haven't added any pockets or any stitching or anything. It's just different variety of paper and paper sizes. So really beautiful butterflies. My Goldilocks and the Three Bears paper. And some really pretty gold and silver foil papers. And some more book page. And then more of the same there. This one is a fold out page. This is another one of my papers from the Enchanted Paper Pack. And then I put in this music paper. I liked the color of this. Some more pretty florals. Love these peacocks. Um, another one of my papers here. these cute little stars this is another one of my papers some more ledger paper really love this cute little veggie patch sort of pattern and more papers from sunny days as you can see there's lots of blank space in here so I kind of like that for my own journals because I end up covering up a huge part of the papers but I like to have some of those patterns that I really like as like starters for each page, just bits of background that are already there. This is from the Sweet Pea fundraiser pack in my Etsy shop. And another one from Sunny Days. And just more of the same stuff. I haven't even counted how many pages are in here, but as you can see, there's a lot. There's a lot of papers in here, so hopefully it's not going to get too bulky. Oh, so this is some vintage ledger that's um, really really old and it tears where you fold it so most of the papers that I included that were the same as this I used some washi tape to reinforce it um, where I bound it in and stuff but this one was a fold out and it's torn out so I'll just use that somewhere else in the journal really cute little chooks another fold out page there in the middle more of that ledger paper that's um, torn again it's torn again so I'll just take that off for now and use it somewhere else really pretty florals coming to the back of the journal now little fold out on ledger paper another one of my enchanted papers there and another pretty fold out in the middle of the signature so that is my new journal I'm gonna be doing some junk journal with me videos in this book so you'll get to see it get filled up. If you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below. Someone always asks me how many pages I put per signature. I like to put about five. Sometimes I'll stretch it to six or seven max. Um, I don't like them to be too bulky per signature but yeah I think I did maybe six per signature and there's 12 signatures in this journal. I'll link the video down below for how you can do this easy window cover on the cover of your own journals. And yeah, if you have any questions, you can just comment it down below. I hope you guys are all doing really well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.